One of Army Hammer's accusers has come out completely attacking the House of Hammer documentary for exploiting her trauma. But after watching it myself, I'm left with one overriding question out of all of this. Why the deuce is the world not talking more about this evil freaking scumbag? up everyone it's me steph the alt nerd the nerdy alternative and welcome to another dose of the daily nerd where i break down the news and pop culture stories of the day that's pretty much caught me eye and oh my goodness i just finished watching the house of hammer documentary series on discovery plus and guys it is definitely not for the faint of heart i tell you that right now now one of army hammer's accusers has actually come forward in the wake of this documentary being released and has attacked the House of Hammer documentary team for basically exploiting her trauma and in some instances pretty much being like Army Hammer. Like, what the deuce is going on? I'm going to break it all down for you in a moment. Before I do so, though, a little bit of housekeeping. Firstly, YouTube human reviewer. I see you lurking. I'm not going to say any trigger words or anything that's going to offend your heels. For definite on this one. And for everyone else awesome enough to have clicked on this video, hi, welcome, how are you doing? If you love news and pop culture stories on the daily served with a little bit of sass and gobbiness, which is basically this, right? Do make sure you click on that subscribe button, like, share, comment, all of that good stuff. And so let's jump into this, shall we? So the House of Hammer documentary series on Discovery Plus was released over the weekend and it chronicles not only only Army Hammer's uh, alleged misdeeds and all that malarkey, but it kind of goes back a few generations. Like, like I think an uncle, uh, uh, one's father, grandfather, great grandfather. Like, guys, when it comes to Hammer family, there seems to be like an immense line of evil running through the male side of the Hammer family. It is absolutely insane and scary as hell. Now, one of Army Hammer's accusers, and the one that we're discussing today, her name is Effie. Now, she didn't provide her last name for fear of reprisals and all that malarkey. She's European, uh, she's 26 years old, and she's, she's the one where when she came forward um, accusing Army Hammer for a range of evil things, that actually kick-started what is now an ongoing Los Angeles Police Department investigation into SA allegations, right? Now, she has since come forward over the weekend attacking the House of Hammer documentary series. Now, initially, she came forward last year in March 2021 alongside a lawyer, Gloria Alred. And just to give you a little bit of background with this lady, she's accused Hammer of intimate nastiness of like the highest order right uh detailing an on and off relationship between her and the actor that she said lasted for four years now she gives a specific date here she says on 24th of april 2017 army hammer nastily was extremely not very nice intimately with her for over four hours in a, in los angeles so an extreme lengthy ordeal she's alleging here she says at the time, um, he repeatedly was physically not nice with her head um, against a wall, which resulted in major, major marks to her face and committed other acts of extreme physical nastiness against her to which she did not want. She did not say that she wanted this whatsoever. Now, a month after she came forward, so around about April time then last year, she was actually approached to participate in this documentary series, House of Hammer, but she chose not to. Reason why? Well, she said in the Los Angeles time that she found it inappropriate to exploit such a tragic, vulnerable time in many people's lives with no regard whatsoever for our healing process and privacy. Now, that's one way of looking at it, and I'm not going to discredit her on that. Fair enough, yeah? The other side to looking at it, though, is, you know, some people find it as part of the healing process to speak out 
publicly, whether that's through a documentary series or YouTube or, you know, whatever, right? So it's kind of like swings and roundabouts. It works for some, doesn't work for others. But I can see a point. I can see a side to that. So that's fair enough. Now, she says that despite not wanting to be part of this series, the House of Hammer documentary, uh, Effie's claims about Army Hammer are detailed in its three episodes, which featured screenshots that she posted on her Instagram account and a clip from the 2021 press conference where she alleged that he was physically, intimately not nice to her against her will. She says, the way they've been exploiting my trauma is disgusting, Effie told the Times. Quote, when I kept screaming no and they keep going, saying they don't need my permission, they remind me of ARMY. Am I going to criticise her equating the House of Hammer documentary team to be, in some respect, the same as ARMY Hammer? No. No, I'm not going to do that. However, what they used, right, in terms of Effie's situation was from her Instagram account, right? Was from a 2021 press conference that was filmed. This is public. Any Joe public could go and get those videos and use them. And especially when the Los Angeles police investigation was launched, because of her, because of her allegations, she's the one that started it all off legally against Army Hammer. So hopefully, you know, he does actually get legal consequences and is punished to the full extent of the law. Because I'll tell you something, these women, Effie, all of them, I believe them. I believe them. Totally. You know, when you when you hear those voicemail messages, when you read those texts from Army Hammer, like, guys, it is beyond. It is beyond, right? It's evil. It's disgusting, right? And why... I, I, I don't... One thing I don't understand about this whole situation is how... There's not that many people talking about Army Hammer. It's as if it's kind of all died down. And, you know, because it's died down, like, you might get away with it now, you know? Because the power of the Hammy fam Hammer family could just, like, push it under the carpet and make it go away. Because one of the Hammer family was actually accused of unaliving someone back in the day. Witnesses, everything. Got that, that Hammer family member banged to rights. Guess what happened? He got off. Allegedly, money exchanged hands. Right? It's not inconceivable that the, the same could happen with Army Hammer, where he could get away with it. Because the Hammer family is, was that powerful, could still be now. Right? So why more people aren't talking about this situation with Army Hammer is beyond me. I think the spotlight needs to be firmly on him so he just don't get away with it as far as i'm concerned in my opinion conspiracy theory whatever but anyway i digress going back to effie they used clips of her that was published publicly <sighs> would you put it out of the public domain like that in a way you you kind of lose you lose that kind of ownership of it because then people can use it so, in a way, I don't mean any disrespect, but what do you expect in a way, right? They used what was out there in the public domain that was on her Instagram and that was filmed during that press conference that she knew was being filmed. So, do you know what I mean? I feel a bit icky when she's saying this. Um... Now, in the same story for the Times, uh, the directors were interviewed about the docuseries. Uh, Hobbs pointed out, um, which is one of the directors here, Julian P. Hobbs, uh, 
um, that when Effie's initial claims were made on Instagram in early 2021 and covered by the media, they entered the public discourse, as did her later press conference. Exactly what I've just mentioned there. Hobbs said that Effie has a right to express how she feels about House of Hammer. Absolutely. And like I say, I'm not going to discount that. But that the individuals who did participate in the project are proud of it. Uh, saying Effie's being vocal that she thinks that making any form of media out of these events is somewhat problematic, Hobbs said. As filmmakers, we don't take that view. We feel we actually have an obligation to tell the stories. Well, yeah, because if you leave it to the Hammer family with the potential hold that they have on the media, they could control that narrative quite easily. So a documentary series like this, I do think is very, very important to combat this monster at the moment, which again, my opinion, because Boosie Theory, whatever, is Army Hammer. Totally and utterly. Uh, the director continued, if you were to stop making films because someone said they didn't want a film being made, you'd never make a film. Uh, the reality is not everyone gets on board films. But the weird thing is, whilst Effie chose not to actually, like, directly take part in the documentary series, a lawyer did. Um which is, is, is absolutely fair enough, right? Um, saying, you know, kinky is not against the law, but forceful, unwanted, not allowed, intimate acts are. Um, Hammer's attorney, though, Andrew, Andrew Brettler, denies the allegations, describing Effie's claims as an attention-seeking and ill-advised legal bid. The attorney said in a statement at the time of the allegations, Mr. Hammer has maintained that all of his interactions with Effie and every other intimate partner of his, for that matter, has been completely consensual, discussed and agreed upon in advance and mutually participatory. Uh, Discovery Plus did not immediately respond to the Hollywood Reporter's request for comment. Right, so... Out of all of this, do I think Army Hammer is an absolute monster based on the evidence that's out there at the moment and uh, based on the testimony that we actually do hear from the documentary series House of Hammer? Absolutely, 100%. I believe that. I believe he is a monster uh, and I believe that he should be prosecuted to the full extent of the law and he needs to be behind bars. Never walk in the earth free again. A absolute danger. Totally and utterly believe absolute danger to women. Absolutely believe that, okay? Opinion, conspiracy theory, whatever. Um, do I believe that it was unfair for the documentary series to use uh, Effie's uh, clips from her Instagram and that press conference that was filmed to include as part of the documentary series? No, I really don't think so. Whilst I do not discount how she feels about it, and that's her right, and I absolutely, it's like fair play to the lass. The fact of the matter is, the Instagram and the press conference was filmed in the public domain to be used. And when she is literally the reason why Army Hammer is officially being investigated by the police force at the moment, to not actually include her in the documentary series would be leaving a little bit of a, p a piece of the jigsaw out. So I do think that in terms of how the documentary series included Effie, I do think it was in a very respectful way. I really, really do. Um, so that's kind of like my opinion conspiracy theory on all of that. Um, do I think, though, her turning around and saying, well, uh, them using my clips... Uh, just as bad as Army Hammer in terms of, now nah, we don't need your permission, we're going to use it anywhere. Again, whilst I do not discount her feelings, she's going to feel what she's going to feel, absolutely fair enough to the last, right? I don't see it. I don't see the connect. I really, really don't see the connect there. With that being said, though, guys, enough with my gob. It's time for your gobs. Comment! Uh, down below, your opinion, conspiracy theories, whatevers. If you've watched House of Hammer documentary, what do you think to it all? Uh, do you think Army Hammer is a monster? Do you think he's innocent? Let me know. Also as well, do you agree with Effie? Or do you disagree with her? Let me know. All comments.
comments, welcome down below. And if you love this video and love news and pop culture stories on the daily, served with a little bit of sass and gobbiness, which is basically this, right? Do make sure you click on that subscribe button, like, share, comment, all of that good stuff. And until the next time, you guys, laters. Thank you.